Tosh and Nose and it is getting quite tiresome. Is it getting yeah. awesome? <laughs> yeah, it's really getting <laughs> tiresome. <laughs> Richard? Hi. What do you want me to do? Whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> Talk to the hand. And the fist. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just going to be like really spontaneous. I'll do. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. You want to talk to the camera? <laughs> Sorry. In this section, we'll look at the seven basic skills you need to play a decent game of This Is Football 2. Tap the triangle button repeatedly to make your player run faster. A short press of the X button executes a short pass along the ground. Hold the X button down to execute a longer, medium pass along the ground. Aim your ground passes with the directional controls. Off-screen players are highlighted by the triangular pointers on the borders of the screen. Hold the circle button to send a high searching pass or make a long clearance. Tap the square button to execute a low shot. Hold down the square button for longer to execute a high shot. Aiming diagonally with the directional controls will aim the ball towards the corners of the goal. Aiming straight will aim the ball towards the center of the goal. The better the striker, the more chance you'll have of an accurate shot. Opt for a high shot, and there is a chance that you'll blaze the ball over the bar. Press X to execute a block tackle. Maneuver your defender into a position in front of or to the side of the opposing player and execute the tackle from a small distance away. You can select manual or automatic defensive player switching from the controller select screen. Simply press circle to toggle between the two modes. If you opt for the manual system, pressing R2 will change the defensive player you are controlling in-game. In this section, we'll look at the advanced passing skills available in This Is Football 2. One-touch passing moves can be used to break down opposition defences. Press the Pass X button and apply direction before the ball reaches your targeted player. That player will now pass as directed as soon as the ball reaches him. You can repeat this technique to create a series of fluid one-time passes. Press X whilst holding down R1 to execute a ground through ball, sending the ball into the space ahead of the target player. A short sharp tap of the circle button whilst holding down R1 
will send a flighted ball into space ahead of the target player. Double tap the X button to play a 1-2. Press X to pass and then immediately hold the X button. The receiving player will only attempt the return pass when the X button is released. Pressing circle will cross the ball when your player is within the auto-crossing zone. There is no need to apply aftertouch on crosses. This is done automatically to enhance the effectiveness of the cross. Input a directed pass on the X button as the ball is approaching the target player in the air. If the ball reaches the player at head height, he'll immediately execute a header pass. If the ball reaches the player at waist height, he'll immediately execute a volley pass. Once you've mastered the block tackle, you can start to develop other areas of your defensive technique. Pressing the circle button will execute a hook tackle. If tackling from in front of or to the side of the opposing player, you can execute this tackle from a reasonable distance away. If chasing from behind the opponent, the tackler's position needs to be very close and the timing spot on to get a good result. Pressing the square button will execute a two-footed tackle. Time the tackle so that you are aiming just ahead of the running opponent's path when you execute it. Press square whilst holding down R1 to attempt a deliberate foul. If you position and time the move correctly, you'll clatter your opponent down and almost certainly be booked for your trouble. This is Football 2 offers a variety of advanced shot types. To deliberately start the shot direction outside of the goalposts and curve the ball back into the target, the controller should point in direction 4 or 5 at the moment you execute the shot with the square button. To execute a chip shot, the controller should point away from the goal face in directions 6, 7 or 8 at the moment you execute the shot with the square button. Input a directed shot on the square button as the ball approaches in the air. If the ball reaches the player at head height, he'll execute a headed shot or an overhead kick. If the ball reaches the player at a lower height, he'll execute a volley shot or a diving header. Thread a flighted through ball into the path of an advancing free player and when the ball is still airborne, hit the shoot button for a spectacular running volley attempt on goal as he receives the ball. Input a directed shot on the square button as your player takes the ball on his chest. He will now unleash a volley shot before the ball hits the ground. This is Football 2 features loads of neat skill moves to help the dribbling player beat his opponent. Hold the triangle button down for a short time to knock the ball ahead of the player with a burst of speed. Keep holding down triangle to perform a string of sprint knockerheads. Press the R2 button to shimmy around an opponent whilst keeping close control of the ball. Press the L2 button to shimmy around an opponent with a knock ahead as the player exits the move. Tapping L1 performs a spin on the ball, giving a momentary change of pace and direction useful for confusing defences. Don't use the move repeatedly in quick succession or your player is likely to stumble over. Pressing L1, L2 and R2 simultaneously whilst holding down the R1 special mode button will make your player perform a deliberate dive. Note, refs can get wise to this kind of disgraceful behaviour. As well as developing your tackling skills, there are other techniques you can use to help you defend against opposition attacks. 
hold the L1 button down when defending to pull the offside trap. Your defensive line will move up in an attempt to place opposition strikers in an offside position. Hold the L2 button down to make your goalkeeper rush out towards the oncoming player. Pressing L1 and R1 will adjust the position of a defensive wall left or right. Adjust your aim using the directional controls. Holding the square shoot button will fill the power gauge. The first bar on the gauge equates to a low driven free kick. The second bar on the gauge equates to a flighted free kick. Anything over the second bar is in danger of being lifted over the crossbar. To apply aftertouch, as soon as the power gauge is filling, hold in the direction you wish to swerve the ball and keep holding in that direction until the ball is well on its way. Pressing L2 will toggle between shooting mode and icon passing mode. When in game, repeatedly pressing the select button or pressing down on the right analog stick will cycle through the pre-selected strategy icons. When you've arrived at the strategy you want to use, simply stop pressing. The icon displayed will disappear after a moment and that new play style will then be active until further changes. <laughs> 